Hello everyone, this is Chronix, and in this video, we are starting the, I guess, the revive of Black Ops, and the countdown to Black Ops 2. This is a new series I'll be doing, it's going to be about 10 to maybe 15 parts, I don't know, till Black Ops 2 comes out. I'll be doing just random game modes, um, pretty good games, medium games, just really playing the game. Not like super high KDs or nothing like that. Just random gameplay that I do. Just till Black Ops 2 comes out. Just to take you back to Black Ops. If you have, if you haven't played this game, I would get it. This game is awesome, Black Ops 2. And people still playing it. I mean, just today I've seen 300,000 people playing online. That's right there next to Modern Warfare 3, which is a newer game. And there's still that many people playing Black Ops. That is something. I mean it, guys. That is really something that says a lot about a game when there's that many people playing it, even though it's that old. And Black Ops 2, now through these series, I'll be talking about the new stuff that Black Ops has, which it will be changing Call of Duty. Some people may already know this. Some may not. Just hear me out. This is some pretty cool stuff. Now, the first thing I'll be talking about is the single player campaign. Now, it takes, I think it's um, 20 years, 20, maybe not even that long, something in that era of time in the future. And the, remember the first guy from this game, Mason? This is his son, which is like the lead character. And you have to, like the Russians or something, I think the Russians, or like the enemy. They took our codes for all of our like um, all of our aircraft carriers and stuff like that, like on arm stuff, and they using against us. And with a single player campaign, all I've seen of it, I've seen it quite a few parts, some exclusive parts actually. And it takes really part in the cities over in Russia through Iraq, usually just just in like just certain places. But they are really pushing the single player campaign in Black Ops 2 to a new level. It really is something that I haven't seen in any other Call of Duty game. And I am very happy about it. I think the, the campaign is actually going to be the longest out of any other campaign that any other Call of Duty has. Because it's going to be like... Okay, well this is something new to any other Call of Duty. Is that you can choose like um it's called strike force missions i think that i forgot the name of it but they, yeah it's like that and you can choose what you want to do through the missions like a choice like this is the first time any other call of duty has this is you can choose like two different options three different options and whatever you choose changes the outcome and if you like lose a battle or lose a mission you don't restart that mission that mission is lost and it will continue the game but something like that will happen something that you lost will come back to you later on a different mission which will make it tougher make it harder and that is something that is going to be really I'm really happy about because this is changing the single player campaign tremendously from actually any other game that today really because not a lot of games are doing that some games are but this is something I'm really happy about. Like you can choose to like stand up top and snipe. Like snipe people. You can go down right into the midst of everything and just start killing everybody. Or you can arm a like a helicopter. Defend your people. You have to take out objectives. Like actually like plant the bomb, take it out, get back to your base, move forward. To move people back, control your team, which is something that in no other Call of Duty has ever done before. And this time, I am really just—I'm so happy what they are doing with this Call of Duty, and I—I I just can't wait for it, guys. I mean it. This is going to be one of the best Call of Duties ever. Now, on the final episode, I'll be talking about modern my Modern Warfare 3 review, and it, it's not pretty, guys. I mean, it's not going to be. Whoa. <laughs> Modern Warfare 3, the best game ever. No, it won't be that. It will be pretty sad. Now, my stars I give it is a 3 out of 5. I would give it just one 
more star if it were the multiplayer was good, but it isn't. Maybe half a star, I don't know. But I only give it that really just because of its single player. And that's really it, guys. The okay, I'm sorry, I'm not talking about that. I'm on final episode, I'll be doing the review. And there we go. Now more news from the single player campaign is like first you have like the special with which choices you make changes the outcome of the game so they said this that every time you play the campaign it's going to be different because simple things you do like objectives you take out will change and if you keep one objective it could change the whole game by simply by just leaving a bomb which could later destroy like this special high value person on the other team like there's a lot of things that Black Ops 2 is doing and I'm very happy about it and what else is there hmm. well, I'm talking about the single player campaign in this video the next video I will be talking about the multiplayer and it's gonna be and I actually no wait you know what no the second video I'll be talking about zombies because zombies is really man it, it just looks great everyone stay tuned in tomorrow because it's going to be just one wow one great zombie core fest of awesomeness when there's everything we want in a game and they're giving it to us now one thing I'm going to talk about all the people don't this on Black Ops 2 because of Modern Warfare 3 remember that Black Ops 2 is a completely different game. There is not one thing the same about it than any other Call of Duty. Like Black Ops 1. To me, I'm going to do the map designs from like Black Ops to Modern Warfare 3. To me, you no, know, we actually, I did this. I, mean, I, I searched all the game engines and stuff. And between Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, they are the same. They are exactly the same. Now this, you can look this up. This, they are, they are the same. The only thing they did was brightened everything up. That's it. It's the same exact graphics or engine that any other game has. It, it's the same game. And they, it just, it wasn't fun, guys. I mean, it just wasn't fun. So please don't blame Black Ops 2. Already say it's going to be the worst game ever oh it's another call of duty well this call of duty is call of duty it's like this you can't change the game what it is it's like battlefield would you want them to change it to this that's just something or you would you want call of duty to change the battlefield i wouldn't like that each game has its own unique playstyle like call of duty is up close personal small maps it's really quick Black Ops is huge maps, long range, so you don't really get a lot of kills in Black. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm bored. I'm about a battlefield. I'm sorry about that. In battlefield, and it's that is something that people really have to get in their heads that they're not the same game, and you can't make that game the same as this game. Sure, the only like um, battlefield, it has great graphics tremendous because they built that game to last for a long time that's why they took so time so much time to make it that they make games to last for quite a few years call of duty is actually has to make a game every year and they have two years to make one two years to make a call of duty and to me they do a good job like really modern warfare 3 um, infinity war they really just messed that game up completely I mean, as soon as the game came out, you never heard nothing from them. I mean, you never heard of none of them from the producers. They were so happy about it, but then it was they wasn't even close to it, and it was just sad to me, guys. And everyone, well, that's it on this video. Please don't um, leave a like for this video, comment, rate, and if you want to, if you like my channel, subscribe. And it would just be just awesome. It'd be great for my channel. I just reached, I think, 152 subscribers. I don't know. Everyone, I will see you later and peace.